Hey guys, RC here. Well, this is supposed to be episode four, but it might be the end of the save. Uh, I can't get it to load. So I have it purchased on Steam, and I was reading that not a lot of people play it on Steam, but I'm certainly not going to pay money to buy it again. Um, and I haven't had this issue before. So, uh, you know, I can, you know, the game opens up, press space, and I get to here. And this is where the trouble starts. So I go in, and this third one is the YouTube save that we're doing. So I'm going to try two things. So this is what I've been doing, trying to load the game. And then it crashes to desktop. And you can see it's running, and then it stops. So that's, that's an issue. Uh, we're going to load it up again. And this time, I am going to try to maybe do the backup. And that didn't work either. All right. So just for shits and giggles, I'm just going to try to load one of my solo saves. Right. So let's save and quit that. I forget which one that was. Was that the first one? No, that was the second one. So my other two saves open with no problem. So of course it would be the YouTube series save that is the one that's glitched. And I try to do, oh, well. All right, so let's save and quit that again. It went in. I don't know. Is there any way to copy that to another slot? It doesn't appear. All right. Well, luckily we got back in. But that's why I wanted to show you guys. I did try to load it and it crashed. It did that at least a dozen times. I even restarted the computer and everything else. So hopefully that doesn't give us issues down the road. If you guys have had any issues with that yourselves and know of a possible fix let me know and also you may notice a little flickering in the screen when I first started playing it before I started recording any of it I was playing it in the little you know in the windowed version and I didn't have any problems it was when I went to the full screen at the higher uh, resolution that uh, every once, well, I mean, just, well, pretty much every time, and I may have to go in and out because it'll get so bad that you can't even see the mouse and you can't click on anything. You know, you've got to basically get it up here in the corner, and then you kind of have to kind of gauge and just like try to click on the save quit to get out or do a hard shutdown. It's it's, I'm enjoying the game, but it's a pretty buggy game from what I can tell. And I haven't been playing it that long. So anyway, let's get to the races today, or let's get to whatever we're going to do today. I haven't recorded in a couple of days. Uh, we are racing tomorrow. So let's see. Oh, no, because you saw I had to revert back to the prior save, didn't I? So we may be going over old ground here, which is... I guess just what we're going to have to do. All right, let's go to the track and let's find our races. Let's see, this one looks like one I might like to bet. Lucky windmill. I'm going to put a I'm going to put a max win here. Ah, she finished third. Of course she did. I bet money on her. All right. Well, I guess we're getting a reboot with uh, the races. I, I I have no idea. I'm I'm. A lot of times when a brand new game that I'm trying to record does this, I just I just ditch the game and you know. But I'm really enjoying this. So and you guys seem to be as well. It's my highest viewed videos that I've had in a while. And I do appreciate that. I do appreciate it. So I'm sorry we're having to backtrack and then move forward from here. 
but uh, let's go race. I, I forgot to even look at what the uh, paddock, paddock boy said. All right, so we are the number seven horse. And we are running next to last right here. Blue silks, yellow beanie hat. Slides into the rail. Four furlongs left. Plenty of space. Just not sure he'll be able to get through. All right, he's making a run there. Up into second. All right, pretty strong run. He finds room to maneuver out and around Dane Hill Princess. Really moves past her at the furlong pole. Doesn't look like he's struggling, but she looks like she may not have given her burst yet. Can we hold on? Get to the wire! I think we held on. It looked close. It was a good run by us, but we didn't have much left in the tank. Just enough to hold on by a nose. Wow. So, Clockman Clonrock gets the win very very nice all right some performance this horse is a star well that's interesting uh let's see let's find our next race all right o'callahan strand going off 40 to 1 the only horse that has not had a race yet uh let's see let's check the paddock and our horse moving well, very fit, primed to go. Uh, we've got Rainbow High sweating badly and agitated. Quite a few of them. Enjoyment, Setter Geneva. Rainbow High is the, the long shot behind us. Enjoyment's the number two horse. All right, well, let's go see if we can get something done here. Looks like we're in the middle of the pack right here. Oh, no, there's us right here, the number five horse. All right, he held her up just a little bit to come in trailing, so looks like he's riding as a closer, possibly a, I would say maybe a stalker, but I think that far back, it's, it's definitely a closer. All right, so he's with the back three horses. All right, there's the two furlong pull. We're still pretty far back. If I remember his last race, he did not do well. Don't see a run coming from him. Don't see anything happening. Uh, he's running with the back of the pack. And he just can't put any ground. And he fades to last. And he is finishing dead last in his maiden. That doesn't bode well. I mean, yes, we were long shots, but these are all maiden horses looking for their first win. So that's horrific. Ridden as a closer, just beaten by better horses. Would not settle. Okay, there was something about not settling. Genetic, could need a pacifier or stressed due to race conditions. The type of track, whatever. All right, so our stable boy should tell us if, if we should try a pacifier. But that's ugh, an Alhabon not getting much respect. Again, the only one that hasn't raced yet. Hopefully he can have a better performance. It looks like we are here second from the, in, from the rail. We break late. Running towards the back. It looks like that's where he's going to settle in. Does he have a burst? All right, there's a move there. He gets into the middle of the track. Inside the two furlong pole, he's now running fourth and starting to make a run. Closing on the top three horses at the furlong pole. All right, looks like... Katie's tutor was making a run. He has eased past into the lead, and he takes it by a neck. I don't think neck is an official horse racing term. I think it's by a head there, but it was not by a whole lot. Half a length. We'll call it half a length. I think that's what we'll call it, and it was exactly half a length. Good call, R.C.,
Good job. Never a moment's doubt. The trip was ideal. All right, so some promise there. And we've got a three-year-old female. 79 rating. Do we maybe... Man, let's see if we can get her real cheap and we may do some breeding. Well, I said cheap. All right, I'm going to let you have it. So we're going to skip the lot and quit the auction. All right, let's go ahead and save this. So two wins and a last place finish. All right, let's go see what our head lad says. A little jaded, so nothing coming out of training yet. I mean, it's the same day, right? Hmm... All right, I'm going to let a week go by. All right, let's check these guys out again. Horses raring to go. Fit and ready to race. Raring to go. All right, I'm going to save it again, just, you know. All right, let's check their ratings now. All right, so that's not gone up. Potential... I don't remember. I don't have a memory to memorize all this stuff. So, if you guys do, you're going to be much better than me at recollection. Um, so, potential's close to being maxed out. My understanding is this can go higher, but it won't go a ton. So, the future potential could get up to maybe 75%, but uh, we won't see changes in stamina, I don't think until next year i could be wrong on that but i don't see a jump in the stamina uh, at all there alhaban one see his hasn't changed either and again he had looks like he has gone up some if i remember correctly we were around 50 on the current potential so we've gone up to 60 maybe 65 so it's gone up a little bit and then Oh, oh, Callaghan Strand. Uh, we did not see any changes there. It doesn't look like. Maybe a touch, but not a lot. All right, let's see about scheduling some races now. We bought everything for the farm, right? I think so. So, yeah, we bought the, and we bought the big transporter, and we bought everything else. Um, and, yes, I, somebody made a comment uh, about, how many uh, broodmares I had or something to that effect, which I don't think it was, it was the number of yearlings. I don't have any yearlings because it's a new year. That's what it was. We're allowed, I guess we're only allowed five racing stable. We can have 28. So, all right. Let's look at sales. Oh, yearling sales, March 1st. All right, let's go ahead and book some races and then do the yearling sales. All right, she likes a slower track. Now, is there a description of what a slower track is? I don't think that's the same as a like a muddy track, right? I don't think that's what that is. Front runner, stalker. That's jockeys. Oh, track conditions. Here we are. So, a slower track. Some moisture between good and heavy. All right. So, it kind of likes running not in the rain, but maybe like a day or two after the rain. I don't know how you judge that. I know you can kind of see. But let's see. And a good track is in between firm and slow. Just wet enough to not be hard. All right, well, I don't know that there's a way to see all that. All right, so I think with her, we're going to come in at the six furlong. Okay, here's our penalty cutoff. Do we want to try a grade three, class one grade three with her? I don't think she's a class one horse. Uh, let's see. She does have the better cruising burst. Extra speeds at 75. Alhaban. Alhaban had less. So I think she's got more upside. 
So let's go ahead and, you know, what's the worst that can happen? Let's go ahead and book her in that race. And Fry is our jockey. Now, she may be limited as well, being a filly. All right, we'll go to him. And there's the declaration cut off right there. We've already entered that. Selling, selling. A class one, grade three. I guess we'll enter him there. And O'Callahan Strand should have plenty of maidens, right? I'm thinking. So 200 miles, 2300 miles, 956. We've got 11 horses in that race. Maybe this one. Carrying 123, 120. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, couple of second, couple of two uh, two races horses. Let's go ahead and enter him in that one. And those are in March. So let's get to March 1st. And that should be yearling sales. Looks like a pretty good size crop. All right, so we're going to be going after anything in the 2-4 or better. Those are the ones that typically bring the 2.2 million that we were seeing last year uh, or early, you know, in January when we sold them off. All right, start the auction. All right. I'm not gonna, I don't talk a lot during the auctions because trying to keep you up to date on the bids and stuff, ugh, just too hard, too much, too much busy work. All right, uh, two, 2.48, we're going to get this one at 301. All right, this one is 3.8. I'm going to get it up to. All right, five five hundred and thirty thousand. We will take that. This one has a four hundred and thirty thousand reserve. Yeah, I'm really worried about the that it's not loading. You know, that was the first time I had seen that. So we will see how that works out long term. Again, if you know any, you know if you have any insight into why why it wouldn't load, and I don't, I've got I've got game all my games are on Steam, and I don't have any issues with them whatsoever. This one has a three hundred and sixty-eight thousand. So I'm going to go ahead and just get it up to the minimum bid. It won't sell for less than that. All right, we have a couple that I'm not going after. So the next one will be Newgate Bubbles for 251000 There we are. All right, we'll get that one for a decent price. So again, you know, I've made the decision this time that we're going to basically go with yearlings. And, you know, you can certainly do the breeding. I think both ways are viable. Um, yeah, so it's up to you. I wanted to try the yearling approach because I hadn't tried it before. I, I lost one. Did I not see that or did they snipe me? I must not have seen that. Oh, well. Don't lose sleep over it. There will be another auction down the road. The next yearling auction is April 30th. No legends are racing for us to worry about. I think March. Let's go in and see if any more races have opened up here. No, they haven't. So, can we get her into a five? We, we booked her into a, five, a six furlong, yeah? Yes. So, if we go back to a five furlong for her, and we're already running, we're running March 8th. 
So is there anything later selling race? Yeah, I don't want to do selling races. So we're going to hold off on these until we see if something else pops up. So let's skip to the next, which will bring us one day before the next race. I'm going to go ahead and save. We're going to skip to the day. And then let's go just double check. Any more races? No, just three and four. So that is fine. All right. We are in a class one grade three. We are not the favorite. Let's go out to the track. All right, skip. How do the tipsters feel about cat spam? They feel pretty good. So I'm going to drop a, a little bet there. And cat spam does win. We just brought home $51,000. That's nice. Seven to two. No. Capria. Keep talking and Katie's tutor. Wow. Keep talking, huh? Nine to two. Yeah, I'm going to skip that one. Let's look at the result, though. Keep talking and Katie's tutor. Capria, second. Katie's tutor, one. So I would have been out money there. Paparetto. And I'm right. I'm going to put some money on Paparetto. Uh, looks like that one bookie was right. I need to stay away from that guy. Four, eight, three to one. Tip this race heavily, heavily favored. Who? I don't see tip this race. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was the horse's name. Oh, my God. Okay, there was... No, they weren't picking anybody. All right. Third favorite. We, we're coming off a win. Quinny Kelly and Bunwood and Owner Occupier are as well. We haven't got a rating yet. Hmm. What are the tipsters telling us? Queenie Kelly. Queenie Kelly looking well. And we're very calm and fit. All right. I tell you what, I'm going to put a bet on Queenie Kelly to win. Uh, but I'm hoping our horse wins. I'd be I'd be happy to lose the money at this point. So we're third favorite. That would be nice to get some money. Running on dirt, a class one, grade three. I'm really not sure what the grade and the class mean. So if you know and you can point me in the direction. I know they're the higher races and then there's class one and then group one two and three but yeah what does that really mean you know all right five furlongs left we're running as a stalker it looks like maybe a closer staying in that rear pack all right two furlong pole and are we going to start this is where she started to make her run last time she's running all out She's right in the, she's leading that second pack. I don't think she's got enough in her here. Looks like number eight, Begin the Beguine, is making a move on her outside. She holds on for a fifth place finish. Eh, you know, I mean, class one, right? We didn't win, but it gives us something maybe, maybe to... Oh, no, Queenie Kelly, we lost that one. Yeah, 21,000, which is fine. Written as a closer, which suited, got the distance well, lesser competition. All right, so the class one grade three, not where we want to go. And I'll be honest, I don't think I've seen a class two or three. I, it, it usually drops down to class four, which is like this race. So that's... Uh, we're going to skip the rest of the racing for today. She got a rating, 76, so that's good. I mean, at least that gives us an indicator when we're looking at horses that she'd be running against. All right, when did I say the next yearling is? April 30th, so we're a ways off from that. Uh, let's get up to the following Monday. 
and then let's go in and see if she's got any races. So we were looking at five and six. So let's look at a six. All right, there's our cutoff. We don't want a selling race. Now we've got a class two, a conditions race. I don't know anything about condition races. I know there are certain conditions. So like right here, it says less than or equal to one run and less than or equal to one win. Or less, I don't know. How can you have less than or equal to one run? So one or zero runs, but yet some of these have two. That doesn't make sense. So maybe this is an and or. It could be either one. So it could be like a maiden or you could run it with, with a win. So none of these have won. She has. She's got a 76 rating, which would be, which would not be good in this. I mean, she'd be second tier, I mean, by far. The other three fillies have 78s, and they have a colt with an 87. Second and fourth, what races has he won or raced? So a class one allowance and a class two maiden. And that's the only other race she can try to enter. You know what? Let's go ahead. Oh, where is that at? Jacobus, 6,000 miles away. I don't think I want to bring her there, do I? It's $50,000. I'm not sure how the travel works, how much that costs. It doesn't tell us. So... It's in Pomana, Pomana. Oh no, this is at Turfetine in South Africa. Yeah, I don't think I want to take her to South Africa. I think we're going to skip on that. What do we have in the way of five furlongs? Selling race, selling race, just selling races. All right, so we'll, we'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. Uh, we are on the 14th. Uh, let's see, O'Callaghan, sixth place finish, and a class four maiden. So ninth and sixth. Six out of six, really? Rin is a closer. The horse. Did I miss the race? I must have missed the race. Rin is a closer. The horse would not settle and missed the break. Last halfway, never a factor. Uh, I don't know whether to cut bait on him or not. I don't know whether to cut bait on him or not. 36 rating. All right. Uh, now, he's a Colt, so he's got a lot more options. So let's look at him. Where's our cutoff? There it is right there. And we're on March 14th. He should be good to run in two more weeks. Ninth and I mean dead last in a five and a six. Nothing good there. Nothing good there. I don't think we would do good there either. I mean, with his rating, he's 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 in dire straits, man. I don't know. I'm tempted to run him in a selling race and just see if anybody buys him. Do we maybe run him in a selling race and just see if we can get his rating up and get some confidence? If somebody buys him, are we really out anything? Because we've raced him now, so we're not gonna get we're not gonna get a whole lot. I think we do that. Let's let's do it. Uh, let's bring him down to Louisiana and let one of my Cajun boys down there buy him. We'll enter him in that race. It's a selling race on dirt. And nothing on her. So let's see. And we are looking for, I said April 30th, right? I always forget. So let's get to March 29th. And this will be the last race for this episode. Let's see how he runs, and then we'll try to rebook him. Jesus. They literally go ballistic when it's feeding time. General Kutasov. 
I'm going to put a couple to win on him. And he does. Oh, we just made almost $100,000. That's nice. Yeah, we'll pass that one. <coughs> Aussie dollar. Let's put a bet on that on her to win. Not nope, she loses. Commerce looks like a prohibitive favorite. Norville's getting a little play. Yeah, we'll stay away from that one. Joint favorites. All right, there's Al Haban. Joint favorites. Let's check the tipsters. Oh, we're actually picked by one. Hello. And in the paddock, sweating badly. Oof. So he's nervous. Very fit and primed to go, but I'm... I'm concerned about this one. Uh, let's put 10,000 there. All right. Last race. Let's end on a positive note. If I had any idea what I was actually doing, I would feel better about all this. <coughs> all right. We start second from the rail. Tightly bunched up. Currently sitting third. Five furlongs to go. All right, we've got the number two horse, Rajamond, riding up on the rail. We are still sitting third, two and a half furlongs to go. Katie's tutor, didn't we see her race before? We, we were able to beat her, I think. Uh, Rajamond and number three, Mr. Fantastic, making a run on the outside, drops us to dead last. Looked like he was giving him the whip pretty hard. Uh, our jockey and he is not responding there is nothing there for the push hey, he might have nosed into third position there maybe that was not a good looking race he just didn't show any acceleration all right well no winnings for us uh, and we lost ten thousand dollars so Possibly suited, suited well, struggled in this grade. All right, well, we're going to skip uh, today's racing. And we'll skip the auction. All right, let's take a look at him. So the class one, I mean third, but it was out of five. If there would have been 11, he probably would have been ninth or tenth. So he just didn't have the push. So... I think we're looking at class threes for him, possibly. Possibly at best. All right, we need a couple of weeks. The distance suited him, so let's look at another six furlong race. There's our penalty cutoff. So we've got a class two, a conditions race. We've got a class one allowance and a class seven selling. Uh, if we go to the 18th, that's two weeks. Let's, I mean, do we give it a shot? He's got a 78 rating. He'd be in the upper tier here, except for face the problem. That's in South Africa again, is it not? No, it's in Arkansas. Okay. These are a lot of South African. That's the South Africa flag, right? Interesting. Oh, I was clicked on the wrong race. My bad. All right. So this is a class two allowance. No, class one allowance. I don't want that. Yeah, we're going to stay away from that. And I don't want to go to South Africa. But you know what? Screw it. Let's take him to South Africa. What's the worst that can happen, right? Worst that could happen. All right, so they'll be running. Has she opened anything else up? No, not really. She's got that condition race, a class one allowance. 
and a selling race. All right, so we're going to have to wait probably it maybe into May. So we'll come back uh, April 3rd for the next race. In fact, let's go ahead and just skip ahead. So that's done. And I'm going to save it there. All right, well, two wins, two last places, and two kind of half-hearted middle of the packs. None of them looked extremely well. But we've got our Philly and one of our Colts with 76 and 78 ratings. O'Callahan Strand, we're going to run in that selling race. And if somebody buys him, you know, I'm thinking about selling him anyway. Let me know what you think about that thought process, because, again, I'm, I'm very raw at this game. I'm still trying to learn. But I think O'Callaghan Strand is a waste of space right now. Um, I mean, we could continue to race him for fun, but, you know, really, is that worth doing? Maybe we just run him in selling races all the time. I've seen several horses that have seven or eight selling race wins in a row. Uh, I don't know if you can win any money in those, but uh, I guess we can look. And uh, yeah, so we'll come back next episode. I'm going to go ahead and record it right now so we don't have to worry about a crash or not being able to reload it. But yeah, if you know anything about uh, not loading from a save, um, I did look on the uh, tech support on the forums and didn't see anything particularly listed about that. Um, but hey, we'll do this as long as we can until the, as long as the game holds up, I suppose. So we'll see you guys next episode here at the track. Take care. Bye.